today we're going to do a segment on how to and this is going to be how to load cards in the Magic Card Prima 4 printer. Um, and when we're done doing that, we're going to have the bad photo ID of the, of the day. And um, a little bit before we get into it about Magic Card Prima 4 printer, it is a retransfer printer. That means the print head does not touch directly to the card. It, it transfers onto a, a film that it then transfers over to the, through a heat process to the card. What this means is you get an um, a lifetime warranty on your printhead. So you're never gonna have to buy another printhead with this printer. You're gonna get over the edge printing, and this means that it doesn't need a 16th of an inch like direct to card printers need. So you can get high quality printing all the way over the edge of it. So if you're looking for a, a aesthetically um, attractive card, then this is the printer for you. Um, comes with a three year warranty, and it's the only retransfer printer on the market that has a three-year loaner um, so you're never going to be down too long because we can get you a loaner printer when you when you need it um, and it has a USB and Ethernet connection so today we're going to again go over how you load the cards on this and in our uh, our guest host today is Kyle from our tech department down the down the hall here and he's going to show us how we load cards on the Prima 4 printer all right, so uh, Prima 4 printer loading and unloading of cards is very basic. Um, right here you have the exit hopper. Uh, this hopper holds anywhere from 150 to 200 cards, depending on the card thickness and style of the card. Um, over here, we have the card hopper. Um, there is a lock and unlock mechanism on the top. Um, the fr only the front half of the card hopper comes off. Um, here is a little bit closer look on that lock. Um, it's very simple, easy to use. Um, it has a card weight in it. Um, that way, when you get down lower, you know, look, uh, probably around 10 cards or so, uh, it won't have any issues feeding them as, you know, there would be weight on it. Um, loading the cards is very simple. That's just an alarm going off saying that there's no cards. Um, it's kind of the same principle for all the printers. Fan the edges of the cards, um, get rid of static buildup. Um, that always helps preventing misfeed errors. Um, this is pretty simple. There's just a big rubber roller here that grips the card that just pulls it into the printer. Um, these cards do feed long edge in and prints, you know, on the short edge. So um, it's a little bit different style of printing and uh, card feeding than most other printers. Um, but printing wise, it's great. Um, so loading them, you just place them in there. Your screen will turn blue, stating that it's ready. That means you know there's no errors, and there it right realizes that there's cards in the card hopper. Um, just slide this. There's grooves. You just slide this in, lock it into place, and you are set to print. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. And um, now here's the bad photo idea of the day. And while you're viewing that, if you have any questions for the Ask Steve show, just submit them to us on Facebook on our, our website. And if you're used on the show, we will send you, if your question is used on the show, we will um, send you a gift. Um, and also, if you could take five minutes to compare our pricing to um, pricing you may already have or pricing you're looking at on anything related to your photo ID system, um, we will give you a $5 uh, Starbucks card and just see our website for the details. Our web is idedge.com and our phone number is 800-798-3343.